Hello to you all from Sanya Alanya and Turkey. You are watching program Faces of Turkey on channel TV82. We are going to tell you stories of many interesting people living in Alanya. So please stay with us. Watch program Faces of Turkey every Wednesday in Russian and every Saturday in English languages on channel 82 and on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to tell you the story of Andrew Cameron who have lived in Alanya for about 10 years. He is a very famous in Alanya and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm from uh, England, United Kingdom. I live here in uh, Alanya, but I come from Nottingham, which is right in the middle of England, a long way from the sea, which I like to be near. I love the sea. Nottingham is about as far from the sea as one can get. And I have always loved to be by the sea. This sea is beautiful, as you can see, excuse the pun, a very nice sea, very clean. We have beautiful clear water. It's, it's rated very highly for tourism. And uh, I'm very happy here. The people come from all over Europe. And many people come from the uh, Middle Eastern countries. My life here is absolutely perfect. What to say? <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. That looks good. Oh. Mm, that's nice. Oh, a little early for me normally, but perfect this morning. Well, my days here are interesting. I usually wake quite early, it's half past six, seven o'clock in the morning. It's lovely because the sun shines most mornings. And every day I have different special things to do. Um, I make many activities myself which I create for other people in the community. We have line dancing on a Monday night and uh, we have a choir, New Alanian singers who rehearse on a Wednesday and we follow that with a session in karaoke on Wednesday night at Sun Prime Sea Lounge. Uh, Thursday, of course, is my Strictly Talking English group, which I think you will see shortly. Uh, Friday, I do karaoke. Uh, Saturday is often my shopping day. I enjoy shopping. I like going to the bazaar. Uh, we have the best fruit and vegetables, I think, in the world. I've traveled extensively and I'm always delighted with the taste of everything I buy. So fresh. You can taste the sunshine and if I had to leave Turkey in the future it would probably break my heart and my stomach. The uh, Sundays can be family day here and I do different things every Sunday like this. today is, is Sunday when we're filming and I'm going to a birthday party at four o'clock which will be quite nice to see my young friend get his birthday gifts we make a lot of parties. My birthday is next week. I am having a party and I'm excited, of course. Being old here in Turkey is good. You are not treated as somebody who's past their sell-by date. You are still important. And uh, 
I wish as I'm approaching 70, I've lived here nine years and they have been the happiest nine years of my life. And that is quite sad that I have lived 60 years where I was never completely happy. But I'm here now and I'm living, I have promised somebody I will see him at my 80th birthday. I hope I see you at my 90th or my 100th birthday because I don't plan to go anywhere soon. I'm from Norway. Oh, wonderful. Lovely mm. country, I'm yes. told. Yeah. I haven't been there yet. Okay. I can't leave Alanya. <laughs> where, where are you from? I'm a little bit English. Oh, okay. <laughs> Quite a big bit English, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. And you're, you're here on holiday? No, no, no. I'm, uh, I um, have a business here. Really? Yeah. Your business is what? Uh, dental treatment, mostly. Dental treatment? Yes. You are a dentist? Or? Yeah. Ah, I have a collection of dentists. I'm not a dentist myself. You're not a dentist. No, no, I'm organized. Uh, ah. the, the, best, the best dentist in Alanya, I organize. Ah, I probably yeah. know them all. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> yeah. I know. We have good dentists in Alanya. Yeah. We are very lucky. My yeah. teeth are courtesy of one. Yeah. I'm very happy yes, with them. Yes, they're very yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, good plastic. Yeah, what do you think about mine? <laughs> very nice. I think yours might be real. <laughs> so what are you doing here? I am totally uh, lazy. I'm busy organizing things for the Alanya expats ah, group okay. and I, I tend to work on getting things started that aren't here like dancing, line dancing, ah. ballroom dancing, oh, choir, different mm -hmm. things, anything that we haven't got, yeah. I will try and make it happen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it has to be free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like everything yeah. to be free mm. at the point of views as coming in. And the businesses here are very helpful. Yeah. They work with me and they're only too pleased to help because they like to encourage us to live here. Yeah. And she's good for Turkey because mm -hmm. we boost the economy, yeah. which is, yeah, 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 which is sure. always wonderful. Yeah. And I get the chance to meet everybody from everywhere. Yeah. But I didn't meet you before. No, that's strange. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think you've been hiding. Yeah, a little bit. From time to time I'm hiding a bit, but I'm also very busy. Yeah. yeah. If you're busy, it's hard. It's hard to yeah. meet out with mm. people because um, your head's in on the phone or wherever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that feeling. I'm, yeah. I'm busy a lot of the time too, yeah. it's good. Almost only yeah. Sundays I'm at the beach. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. I'm, when I'm on the beach, I'm still working. Yeah. I'm, I'm constantly checking all the messages on yeah. the, the internet, on Facebook, on Messenger, on WhatsApp. It's, it's, yes. And today you know, we're so lucky to meet each other. Yes, <laughs> it's amazing and uh, it's such a nice day. So guys, as you can see, Alanya is a very international place. Um, Kind of small place, right? Very small. Because everybody knows everybody. I we both love it. it. Yeah. And this you live also in Nova. Yeah, yeah, I live yeah. just up so, here. Yeah. And the most important thing is international. So. Yes. If you, Andrew, you're here every Sunday, right? Mm, I'm here. I'm here quite often in the week. Not always on a Sunday. Um, it depends on my calendar. If I'm busy with other things. But I'm, I'm here usually at least two or three times a week for breakfast, lunch, dinner, my birthday okay, the, party. Okay, the point is that if you want to meet Andrew, you can come to beach number 15 and yeah. ask for him. Yeah, and everybody Matt will. has my phone number, I will come very quickly. <laughs> and Irene, yeah. she's from Norway. Yes. And funny how, but after the Andrew, in the next program, we will film her story. How she came to Norway, uh, to Norway. From, Norway from Norway to Norway, Turkey, yeah, yeah. what she's yeah. doing here. And Ture is yeah. your husband. Yeah. So, uh, how is life? Life is good. <laughs> life is good. 
Yeah, yeah. Thank you, pardon. So, <laughs> life is good in Alanya, right? Life is wonderful in Alanya. There's never been, uh, in my opinion, a better place for me to live. And most of my friends feel the same. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very protective. If somebody says a bad thing about Alanya, yeah. we fly to the defense. Because uh, Alanya is kind to us. Alanya and Turkey. And Turkey yeah. as well. Uh, but it's it's really welcoming. We feel like we belong here. And um, we feel extremely safe. Yeah, it's you know, true. In the world of, of uh, 2019, there is so much trouble and turmoil in the world. And to live here and not fear about being out late in the evening. Uh, of course, everybody wants to know. You are from England. That's correct. Ten years ago, you were 60 years old, right? That's right, yes. How come you came to Alanya and, first of all, uh, ten years ago, was it the first time you came to Alanya? Oh, a lovely Turkish tea is coming. Oh, yes. The there Turkish is... chai reach 15, <laughs> always. Nothing, Thank you, Ahmed. Nothing happens oh, in Turkey without... without tea, chai, yes, chai. bardak, bardak. Yes, oh. it's wonderful. I, I think I've been to Turkey a few times, but not to Alanya. I arrived, before you decided before to Before I here. arrived in Alanya, I'd been mm -hmm. to other places. Mm -hmm. I liked them. I liked Istanbul, Bodrum, Fethiye, mm -hmm. Kushadasi, Oludeniz, all nice places. Oh, but so you traveled a lot? A fair amount, mm -hmm. but none of them felt like they could be my home. Mm -hmm. And I arrived in Alanya, I got into the hotel, I met the hotel manager, Amanda. Who so that was the first time you met Amanda? The first time I met Amanda, Amanda Usoy. And I knew that minute, this is where I want to live. Yeah. She made me welcome. She's also uh, British, but she's a Turkish citizen. She's lived here 30 plus years and uh, she is warm-hearted mm -hmm. and she introduced me into Turkish customs, introduced me to people in Alanya, oh, yeah. made my life easy and she was for me the Alanya expats welcoming group because there wasn't an Alanya expat so, uh, We just have to tell that Amanda is a, a English lady. Yeah. She's manager of one of the best hotels in Alanya mm -hmm. and she's been living here for Th 31 years. 31 years. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's local. Fluent. Yeah. She's fluent in Turkish, German, Dutch. Dutch. Her English is a bit ropey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, at that time you decided, but uh, were you looking for place to live? Were I'm, you ready to live in England or you had some thoughts yeah, to go to another was, country? In my head there was a desire to live somewhere near the sea. Near the sea. I, I always feel happy when I'm near the sea. I love it. Mm -hmm. I come from a family um, with nautical connections they were fishermen on my father's side mm. up in, in the Hebrides and um, and the Shetland Islands and I just felt that as I get older I wanted to be near something I really liked mm -hmm. nice fresh air but Alanya has everything I want everything I can imagine sunshine mm. happy people 
lovely food, nice vegetables, fruit, all the things that are, are important in my life. Yeah. I don't like eating tasteless vegetables. Taste plastic plates. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. here everything is good and yeah. it's a good price, plentiful. My English pension is small. So here, when you look at the exchange rates, it buys everything I need. So I don't live um, the life of a pauper. Mm. I live like a king. Yeah. I really feel blessed. I, I honestly put my hand on my heart. Put my heart? Yeah. <laughs> I put my hand on my heart. I must talk to my doctor. And uh, I, I feel totally lucky. And um, if anybody tried to make me leave, I don't know how I would cope. Mentally, I think it would kill me because I have got so involved in Turkey. Mm -hmm. I'm learning the history. I'm trying to learn the language. I can cook a lot of the food. I just love the people. So, 10 years ago, you decided and in how you went back to England and said, okay, I'm moving from here. I'm still yes. in my house. Mm -hmm. Was it like in one year time? In a couple months, one it week? Was, it was straight away I decided I was coming mm -hmm. and it took me a year to get here. Mm -hmm. I had to wind everything up as I could. I still had my house mm -hmm. and I didn't sell my house uh, until 2016. Mm -hmm. I was advised, oh, just in case, just in case. Well, there was no just in case. I had all this money tied up in a property yeah. that was at risk of well, having just problems. There. Just standing yeah. there empty and um, deteriorating, which was not good. And I, I thought, what the heck? I'm never yeah. coming back to it. So I put it up for sale. It sold straight away. It sold in first day it was up for sale. And uh, the money came to Turkey and I put it in a nice Turkish bank account with my lovely Berna, who is my banker, yeah. and she pays me lots of interest every month for having the pleasure of my money. And that money means I live like a very rich king. A very rich king of <laughs> yes, Alanya. very yeah. rich king of Alanya. Yeah. Now, no regrets, no regrets. Um, I don't miss very much at all. Mm. If I want my family, I can go and see them. Uh, oh, they can come here better. Yes, yeah, which is much better. better. So where should I go there? Come to a wonderful place. This is better. People who come here fall in love. We have people, we have an American couple. You will meet them at the Strictly meeting. They came just passing through and they've now decided to stay. For one year. At least one year. Yeah. If they stay one year, they will probably stay for the rest of their lives and use it as a base. It is heaven here and um, people should appreciate that we are very lucky and very privileged to be allowed to live in Turkey and Alanya. The government are kind to us. So good. So good. I'm going home now and uh, I need to freshen up because I'm going to a birthday party this afternoon. A young friend of mine is going to be, well, he's 12 years old tomorrow and he's having a party at the hotel his mother runs and uh, we have a big party and uh, there'll be lots of people from all around the world. I'm excited, I like parties. Oh, a little bit of shade now, we're out of the sun. We don't get a lot of shade here. Uh, this is the wonderful uh, seafront and uh, this is to the east of Alanya. Uh, beautiful. You can cycle all the way from Alanya right the way through 25 kilometers. It's a very nice seafront. The whole of Alanya is beautifully landscaped. We have wonderful flowers. We have the trees, we have nice hotels. I would recommend Alanya to anybody who wants a nice holiday. Do come, don't be frightened by bad press. Sadly, the press seem to not like Turkey, but those of us who live here adore Turkey. It's a fantastic country. It's the place where you can do almost anything and be whoever you want to be.
a friend. She got married. She's on the way. I was scared of her. She owns the island. I was there. Such a, they were all shaking my hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And this is the regular meeting of the Strictly Talking English group. I founded it about uh, five years ago and the idea was that if people were already speaking some English they needed to have a place to practice. So the rule of the table is they come and they talk in English to each other. It's quite amusing when you get two people from one country speaking in their second language without any inhibitions. We leave inhibitions at the door and this restaurant has made us welcome for a long time so it's now our home and we like being here. Uh, we have a very international membership, never quite sure who's going to turn up week to week. Sometimes it can be very Middle Eastern, another time it will be very European, but it's always fun. The subject matters are everything except uh, religion and politics. But we do sometimes talk a little bit of religion and a little bit of politics, but quietly. <laughs> but that's strictly talking English. So we have here Annika, who's from Sweden, and next to Annika is Martha, whose husband is sat opposite her, their husband Bill. They're both from America. We have Essa, who's our strictly talking Turkish teacher, who is a Turkish citizen and was originally a teacher of French in a school in Ankara. Uh, we have Sara, who's from Iran at the end. We have two lovely guys at the far end who are also from Iran. One of them is a patisserie and makes a wonderful, he's a chocolatier. He makes wonderful chocolates. I'm waiting for some. And uh, then we have a little girl there whose name I can't remember offhand, and she's from Azerbaijan and a fairly new member. Uh, we have Erjan in the white and turquoise shirt. He's a, an Iranian, he's an English teacher. Uh, so we've covered the table for today, and I hope you'll come and join us sometime. This, this is my friend. Tell him your name. Hi. Tell, Tell him your my... name, Abdullah. My name is Abdullah, I'm from Saudi Arabia, and I live in Alania now. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hello, my name is Susanna. I'm from Denmark, and I also live in Alania. Cake lover. He's the cake lover, and your name is? Kasten. Kasten, that's it. Kasten, I'm also from Denmark, yeah. yeah. And he loves cake. Hi, my name is Lana, I'm from Russia. I also like cakes. And she's, and she's new to Alanya and she's already in Strictly Talking English and the choir. She is doing well. She's joining every group. Very social girl, aren't you? Yes, I am. And she has a Scottish accent because she's been working in Scotland for eight years. Interesting mix of people. The karaoke here tonight at the Indian Bazaar is run by us from the Alanya Expat Social Group. It's done as a voluntary thing. We were looking for somewhere where we could come together and sing. And this was offered to us very kindly. And we have a lot of fun. But it's only ever as good as the singers. If we don't have the singers, we've got no karaoke. And I have to sing a lot and I drive the customers away. But it's great fun. We enjoy ourselves most of the time.
When I first arrived here I stopped at the Hotel Grand Ocan. I was there for a month and it was very nice but I really wanted to be able to make my own food. We found a small apartment not far from the um, hotel and that was very nice. It was January, very peaceful, beautiful place. Then all of a sudden it got to mid-March and a local restaurant opened with the noisiest disco I'd ever heard and I couldn't hear myself think in the evening and I was really unhappy. At that point we moved out to uh, Chick Chile to Olive City. Olive City was a very nice apartment, big duplex, but we had very strange neighbours, people who were, were all thinking they were better than they really were. And um, we moved from there down to Cleopatra Cleopatra was nice, I was there for four years, but then uh, we decided to move because they wanted to modernize the apartment and uh, I said where should we go this time and there was a lovely place at the castle so we moved up there, very nice apartment but terrible problems with damp coming from the floor after nearly two years we knew we had to move my chest was suffering and we found this wonderful place this is uh, where i live now in this beautiful building and uh, we have uh, duplex big duplex the three of us sharing it it's a very happy home and we've been here now nearly two years um, we have a swimming pool which has just been emptied for the winter because the children are not using it anymore they're going back to school and it's very expensive to run a swimming pool with all the chemicals so the uh, people who run the building said we're going to close the pool and I said okay no problem I've only swum a couple of times my family came to visit from uh, the north of Turkey and they enjoyed it so we've had what we wanted out of it the gardens are looking a little bit dilapidated because the poor gardener is exhausted, I think, in the heat. But it's nice. I, I am happy to call this my home. Um, come, I will show you um, and talk to you inside, away from the sun. So this is my kitchen. This is where I try to do all my uh, preserving and cooking. I have many cook pots. I have cook pots, cook pots and cook pots. And I have two microwaves. I have so much stuff. And people say, what do you need all that for? You're one person. Does that mean I can't have more? I like cooking. I make for other people. I like entertaining. I'm not the tidiest cook, but I make nice food. International. The ingredients grow here, so I can make almost anything I like, and uh, I like almost anything. You can tell I like food, I think, from my uh, wonderful physique. This body wasn't cheap, it cost me a lot of money. The one thing I have here, if you want to follow me, I have all my latest preserves. I have my uh, lime and fig marmalade. This is my chili jam, which is made with the chilies from my balcony. And uh, this one is an English piccalilli, which is made with uh, raw vegetables and put in a hot mustard sauce. Very nice. Then I have some nice jam and I have all sorts of other things there. I just make it. But the trouble is I make a lot and I can't eat it so fast. But I try. <laughs> I try hard. <laughs> When I was planting my uh, containers for this season, I wanted to be colourful and I rather liked buying the Bieber peppers as we know them in England. And so I bought different varieties and I am planning 
I've also got basilica. Uh, planning to use them. Uh, they're going to be dried, ready for winter, which is nice. So they're not only pretty, but they're double purpose. I can eat them. And I do a very nice uh, hot, sweet chili jam, which is to die for. It goes beautifully with grilled meat. And I make that and I give it to my friends sometimes, but not often because I'm mean. But I do like cooking. And the basilica has died, but coming back, I forgot to water it. And we do have to remember to water things very frequently. The sun is normally like this. We normally have blue skies. We have the sea, fresh air. This is a good life. I'm a lucky man. When you moved to Turkey, of course it's a different country. It's everything is different from England. I totally think. different. So, uh, what would you advise to people who are moving to Alanya to pay attention to? What is the most important thing they have to pay attention to? Uh, they need to be happy in their new home. They need to look at the place different times of the day and night to see what the noise volume can be because mm. some places are very quiet in the day but if there's a disco or a hotel with music the night time can be very trying it's difficult. so to check the before they buy apartment, check before check they the buy place. i would advise everybody to come and live for a few months and rent, rent. because you're mm. not tied down if you rent if you don't like you move to another yes. area no way would I suggest to anybody to buy straight away unless they've been here on many occasions on holiday mm -hmm. and they have also experienced that vicinity because it can change drastically in two or three hours from being really peaceful yes, sea view mm -hmm. to a noisy inferno of disco music mm -hmm. and older people my age group, yeah. 17, 18. <laughs> we can't cope with that. No, but we also cannot cope with that because as you live a little bit outside of the center, we also do live outside. Yes. So this uh, is lovely here because place. it is peaceful. Yeah. The, the only thing we have is the jami, the, the, um, the mosque, mosque mm -hmm. uh, the court. And sometimes Brett. construction. <laughs> Yes, we've yeah. had a lot of noise from construction recently because they've been excavating, yeah. taking the stone from under and building beautiful stone walls. Nothing yeah. is wasted. I, I admire the building. But you uh, know, in front of our house, we have the same, we have the yeah. same scene. It's, it's not a problem. Yeah. It's short-lived and yeah. it's all part of the joys of living in this fantastic place. And our place. construction company, they're also very polite. They don't do it before uh, eight seven seven o'clock they oh, start hours start nearly eight o'clock we yeah. get an extra hour of sleep but we live in a posher area than you yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but our did you see the snobbery <laughs> yeah <laughs> no but really because we we work every day and we go to the office so yeah. we don't notice and when we come home there is nothing no it's like the house At is night, growing but it's they nothing. finish six o'clock and after that it's quiet yeah, and true. uh it's good it's um it's a good environment they're very respectful yeah. we we sort of uh, live in paradise yeah. but even paradise has a few little flaws of course so andrew yeah many people uh, yeah not many but people some people say alanya is boring what to do yeah <laughs> exactly i wonder what they do it's <laughs> yeah. not alanya that's boring it's them Them. that's they what they are saying. the problem yeah, if you true. if you think everything is going to come knocking on your door no way you're wrong yeah. you have to get off your bottom you have to go out your front yes. door and it's there we have choir we have ballroom dancing yeah. we have line dancing we have meetings other groups have meetings and social activities you can walk into town you can buy one chai very little money and you can sit nobody will bother you yeah, you can sit yeah. for hours you can read your book you can watch people go by i lived in england as a retired person yeah. and i was lonely because you can't sit anywhere without them but do you want something else do you want something else and you think i don't really i've just spent 
whatever three pounds on mm. a coffee I haven't got another three pounds to buy another coffee yeah. and I don't want too many coffees because uh, I don't like coffee <laughs> Simple. yeah but you know what I was also wa while you were talking you know what I thought about mm -hmm. uh, there are many activities that foreigners do yes and there are also many activities that municipality does yes and we have of free course, concerts yeah also. and of course we have educational centers for yeah. adults yeah. and you know what is the most important thing? What mm. I was, uh, what I thought about, when you come to the foreign country, to n n to a different country to stay to live, mm -hmm. what you have to do first? Integrate. You have to meet your yes, hosts. but to integrate, you need to learn the language. Need to learn the yeah. language, yes. And when you start to learn the L language, when you will start to learn the Turkish language you will never get bored no. because you will be occupied with the language mm. and with all the yeah. people and culture and everything you can meet in the exactly. country. Exactly. Yeah. It cannot be boring. It, it's just no, impossible. I find it impossible to believe yeah. that Alanya is boring. Yes, exactly. I've never felt bored. Uh, yeah. That's a lie. I have sometimes felt bored when it's absolutely throwing the rain down uh. to on one day. <laughs> but if I was in England, if it was raining today, it would be raining tomorrow and the day after and the yeah. day after. Here, if it's raining today, tomorrow will be beautiful blue skies and sunshine again. And it's, you have to live with that. That's and true. sometimes you need a rainy day to, to do your chores because I never exactly. clean my house. <laughs> uh, exactly. That's, that's I'm lazy. Yes. I don't see any point in cleaning. If it's nice, I'm out. I'm doing. I'm, I'm having a good time. Yeah. That's good. I'm doing my cooking and my shopping for cooking and just generally enjoying myself. I've brought with me some of my treasures from England, but I've also got uh, items which I treasure. This was an award from Altav, the local tourism body, and it was presented to me two years ago for my contribution to tourism in Alanya. And I was very honored. Uh, it was nice to be recognized for con conducting myself in a way to enhance tourism, which uh, I didn't realize I was doing. Um, I also brought with me other bits and pieces, uh, but I did go to um, Ankara for a meeting with members of the government, and this was one of the items given to me by them, uh, Republic of Turkey, Ministry of uh, EU affairs, which was very interesting. I've not had an EU affair, but uh, I treasure that. Is the Turkish government giving me something? I fight to get something from the British government. And then I brought with me also from England some artwork done by my father's brother, uh, Ronald uh, Cameron, who is a famous sculptor and worked a lot in bronzes. And I've got several pieces of his work, which I treasure, because uh, sadly he's no longer alive. Family mean a lot to me. Um, I have a picture here, if I can show. Can I show my picture? Where is it? I have a very favourite picture here of uh, my great-grandmother. And this was taken in 1899 one year before she gave birth to my grandmother and two years before sadly she was widowed and it's, uh, it's a favourite picture, it had to be with me I love her, I loved her when I was little I knew her for many years I'm hoping to have the uh, picture reframed and uh, if possible maybe cleaned up a little but I don't think that will be possible it suffered a lot of years of uh, being stored and for a laugh one picture of me in Australia in 1993 I'm the one with more of the forehead the other one is known as the koala <laughs> just to those of you that might get confused I know I'm cuddly but not as cuddly as a koala <sighs> I'm uh, leader of a choir here in Alanya, New Alanyan Singers, and one of our new songs in our program is um, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, people say, you can't sing Bohemian Rhapsody. Please never say you can't to me, because I like a challenge. 
So I have had to work out who's singing what, sopranos, altos, bass, etc. And we will have our first rehearsal with this new arrangement on Wednesday evening. And I'm excited about it because my singers have less faith in themselves than I have. They are good. They sound wonderful. When they all get going, they really are good. And the most important thing is they're happy. There's no divas. Well, there is one diva, that's me. Um, we haven't room for two divas in our group. But we will be performing um, in the next few weeks in Alanya for the benefit of uh, the audiences that we attract, maybe for charity. We do raise money for charity. We help where we can because um, it's a way of saying thank you, Alanya. Thank you, Turkey, for giving us such a wonderful life. We are happy here. Every member of my choir, from inter they're international, they all say the same thing. This is a wonderful place to live. And that, my friends, is my life here in Alanya. And I hope you realize just how much I enjoy living here. Thank you for your time. In our next programs, you are going to meet more interesting people who live in Alanya. So watch our program on TV82 every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock.